was like, hey, how would you feel about doing separate ways with me? And she was like, it's my go-to karaoke song. So I'm all in. And um, so that's, you know, the rest is history. Chris, first of all, tell me why you decided to pick that as a song to cover. Um, you know, there for a while on tour, we, me and the guys kept talking about wanting to do, like we felt like we needed like a, a definitive cover for, for us to, to do and something that was classic, something that, that kind of fit in that 80s, you know, synth vein. And um, a couple months later, um, um, me and my wife are watching the, uh, the the finale of Stranger Things, and 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 there's this epic scene where they're you know they're all getting together and they're about to go do the thing, whatever that. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. And um, and Separate Ways was kind of chopped up in it, and the way it was used was so cinematic and powerful. And I remember going, "This is, I think, this is a this is the song we need to cover." Somebody said, "How would you feel about doing this as a duet?" I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." Um, because it does kind of lend itself to both perspectives and, and, it, and it could totally work. And I was like, it's got to be Lizzie. Like, we, me and Lizzie, Lizzie and I have been talking about doing something forever. I was like, hey, how would you feel about doing separate ways with me? And she was like, it's my go to karaoke song. So I'm all in. And um, so that's, you know, the rest is history. It, it worked out. She, we both live in Nashville. So we were able to actually be in the studio together. It wasn't all remote. So um, it, was a, it was an incredible experience. Uh, we're certainly grateful it's been received the way it was. I mean, anytime you, I guess, touch um, a vocalist like Steve Perry or, or anyone of that caliber, you're, you're subjecting yourself to get raked over the coals. So, um, knock on wood, that hasn't happened yet. So, I'm very grateful for it. But one thing that I really enjoy, especially over the past, I feel like, two or three years, we're introducing a lot of the younger generation to songs that they might not have heard before. And people love this cover. They're eating it up. And like younger people didn't even know the song beforehand, but they know it now because of yourself and Lizzie You're Hale. welcome. You're welcome, kids. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so funny now in hindsight, right, that probably we're, some of us are among the age that um, we're the same age as the Stranger Things kids uh, yeah. at that moment. So what was it like? I mean, do you have a memory in first hearing uh, Step Ways on the radio? Um, or I, watching that I, classic video of them on the street? I feel like Journey in general was kind of ubiquitous, you know, as throughout my childhood. It was one of those, you know, when you grow up knowing something, you just assume that it always existed, right? Right. And, and Journey was one of those bands that just, I don't remember a time that Journey didn't exist. And it was always kind of in the background and I knew these songs, but I didn't know who it was. I didn't really pay attention to that at the time, but it was always one of those voices that, that stood out to me as like a like a, an ambassador of that time. You know what I mean? Like that, that like my brain associates the eighties with Steve Perry's voice, you know? Um, and and Rick Astley, um, of course. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> hey, you know, but, you did a version um, yeah. with Lizzie, Chris. Uh, you did a version with Lizzie of The Chain, which you guys had performed live, right? The Fleetwood Max song. I, you know what's crazy? It's funny you bring that up because I was just doom scrolling on YouTube the other day and I see this video of the video, like someone had filmed it on, on their TV it, from a live stream we did back during the pandemic. And Lizzie came out and we did a couple songs together. And I'd forgotten that we had, we did the chain. And I saw it, I was like, ooh, let me listen to this. Cause I don't really feel like I was on my best, uh, you know, I, I was on my best game that day. So I'm dying to hear how this turned out. And I had full on chills. I'm like, oh my God, we totally killed this. <laughs> and I, and You're I, like, not I, to toot my own horn or anything. I mean, I'm seriously, it. I was like, this was, we crushed it. And I sent it to Lizzie. I'm like, how, how did I forget that you did this? Before we, we leave you, I wanted to bring up something pretty cool. I was a, I loved American Idol when I was younger. We we decided to watch the audition video. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, before God. we got you on here. And it's crazy, you were only 25 years old. 
I remember this so clearly in my head because I went, oh my God, he's the only rock and roll guy on American Idol. Like, I don't, I don't like these other ones. Like, I finally have someone that I can kind of relate to when it came to music taste. And I thought it was so cool that you came in fourth. I was like, oh, I wish he was like, came in top two, but I'm, I didn't want you to win because I knew that people I thought, didn't either. Yeah, because people thought, <laughs> people would get like locked into these American Idol contracts and they would just like form them into something they never wanted to be. So I was like glad that you were out of there and able to continue on the routes that you are on now. Thank you so much. Um, I look back at that guy with, um, you know, a lot of admiration and gratitude, but that I, I wish I could go back and tell him, don't do your sideburns like that. Like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing um, the cowboy hat. Don't, you don't wear that. Boy. Don't wear that cowboy hat. <laughs> don't do your, and, and um, you had a lot of twang going on in your voice in there, yeah. too. I, I did, I did. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, though, I, um, you did a great version of the letter there, you know, by the box tops and Joe Cocker. I mean, that, your voice was, you sounded amazing. And it was right great, you, as huh? Katie said, that rock was represented there. I look I look scared, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 am, I am happy with the way that, uh, that, that the audition turned out, of course. I, I don't think uh, we would be talking if, if it didn't, so. Do or you still talk to anybody who was on your season? Yeah, I do. Um, I still keep in touch with a lot of the people. We were a very tight knit group. You know, this was, uh, I think, a pretty incredible experience for all of us. And, and uh, we made a lot of friends. And, and I feel like a lot of them live in Nashville and we never get to see each other. That's just how it goes. But um, Ace, we keep in touch uh, quite quite a bit. Um, we were we were always, um, you know, pretty close on the show and we've kind of continued. And he helped write my first single. Hey, tell us about what's coming next, Chris, because your last album absolutely rocked. There's so many great songs on it. And why don't you talk to us about, are you in the process right now of writing some new material for a forthcoming album? Yeah, we uh, we just started two days, three days ago, uh, Scott and Marty and I, and uh, it's a full metalcore record. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're like, we're going to hear Daughtry. <laughs> no, but it, I will say that um, it is uh, it is leaning in on the heavy and and we're uh, we're already off to a, an incredible start and I can't wait to share something. Um, but it's exciting. It's big. It's loud. And um, we're, um, you know, I, I feel like Separate Ways was kind of like this. You know, you take the take the familiar air, familiarity out of it, and the fact that it's a cover sonically, that's that's kind of where we're headed, and um, it's a it's a good indicator of what the record's going to sound like. I think. I'm sure I can speak for all of us and say we're all looking forward to that. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thanks so much for joining hey, us. Hey, thank today. you guys for having me. Much love and uh, congrats on the new show. Thanks so much. And, and thank you for having me as uh, as one of your first. There. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.